When starting a technical architecture for a new system, you don't have to start from a clean sheet. Just as for architecture in construction, there are a number of guidelines, principles, and patterns that you can draw from. In systems development, we have technical styles and technical patterns that act as these guidelines and starting points. These give you the basis for technical direction, making technical decisions, and giving you out-of-the-box patterns for common problems. A big problem I had doing the research for this video is that many people out there say that technical architecture styles and technical architecture patterns are actually the same, including sources like MSDN. And this made me question whether they are really different. This video will take you through what I've discovered about technical architecture styles versus patterns, and hopefully give you a deeper understanding of technical architecture and technical design. So let's waste no more time, let's get to it. So what is a technical architecture style? A technical architecture style guides how software and systems are designed, developed, and deployed. The style refers to a set of guidelines, principles, standards, and design considerations which would dictate the overall structure and organization of the software application or system. In some ways, the architectural style gives you a very high-level blueprint for the overall system structure. This could include the choice of programming languages, frameworks, tools, and the overall design philosophy. Each style has their own strengths and weaknesses, and therefore may be better at some applications and some systems, and also may be better at satisfying specific business requirements. For instance, a monolithic style has a single code base, meaning it's much more straightforward for deployment. However, it lacks flexibility as it's usually constrained by the software already in its stack. With systems built in the microservices style, they are far more flexible and far more extensible. However, deploying systems built from microservices can be more complex. What's also interesting is that architectural styles can change and evolve due to advances in technology and changes in market conditions. We've seen this with the move to cloud computing, with the shift from on-premise deployments to infrastructure as a service. So what is a technical architecture pattern? A technical architecture pattern is a commonly used or reusable solution for a specific technical problem or issue. It's a proven design approach that can be applied to systems and applications to achieve specific technical goals or solve particular problems. Technical architecture patterns typically involve the arrangement and the integration of software components and the definition of interfaces and protocols. These patterns are often developed from industry best practices, lessons learned, and empirical evidence from successful implementations. So they do sound the same. So what is the real difference between them? First of all, an architecture pattern is a way of solving a reoccurring architectural problem. On the other hand, an architectural style is the name given to a set of reoccurring design principles. The important distinction is that an architectural style does not exist to solve a specific problem. Still, they do have certain characteristics which may make them better at building some applications over others. Also, a single architecture can contain several architectural styles, and each architectural style can be implemented with many different architectural patterns. So this might still seem confusing, so let's explain the difference using an analogy. Think about the architecture of different types of buildings as a metaphor for architectural styles. For instance, churches are designed with specific structures for worship. Houses are designed with specific structures for residents. And castles are designed as defensive strongholds. And this is just the same as having different technical architecture styles, such as monoliths, layered architectures, microservices, event-driven, and headless architectures. So let us dig into a castle as a specific architectural style. A castle design has many common features, such as high walls, battlements, towers, a moat, and a gatehouse. Just in the same way, a microservices style has many common features, such as independently deployable services, each containing their own unique functionality for specific business requirements. But the actual way a castle solves the defense problem is inherent 
in many architectural design patterns, such as the Mottenberley Castle, the Square Castle, and the Concentric Castle. These patterns have evolved to solve the particular defensive problems at different points in history. They are based on the available technology, skills, and materials at those points in history. The individual structures in the castle have been designed with specific architectural patterns designed to solve these defensive problems such as the drawbridge to cross a moat when required, a gatehouse to protect the castle entrance, towers used for surveillance and protection of the walls, and crenellated walls for soldiers to hide behind. These are analogous to technical architectural patterns. Consider the architectural patterns we use in headless architectures, PWAs to provide a performant framework for building interactive web applications, or the BFF pattern to provide optimized custom backends for front-end applications, or GraphQL to solve the underfetching and overfetching problems you get with web services. In conclusion, although technical architecture styles and patterns are very similar, they are very different concepts. An architectural style does not exist to solve a problem, whereas architectural patterns are there to solve reoccurring common problems in architecture. Also, a technical architecture can assume many benefits by combining many architectural styles and architectural patterns. If you like this video, do me one favor. Can you scroll down a bit, press on that like button so this video can be shared with many others. And if you'd like to see more content like this, why not subscribe to the channel and hear more about architecture and more about modern day architectures like Mac and Headless. But for now, it's time to say thank you, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.